Hello, DDP students, and welcome to part two of the Degrees of Freedom Assembly. So we are going to make a spinner. It's going to be kind of like a merry-go-round kind of thing. Um, what we did was we created a new component, and we called it spinner. New component is right here, and it is now activated. So we're going to create a sketch. Okay, and we're gonna choose the front plane, all right? And what we're gonna be doing is making a circle somewhere in this workspace, and we'll dimension that to one. Okay, we're then going to finish the sketch and extrude it about 0.5. Okay, we're going to now create a sketch on the front face here. Hello. Work out. Try that again. And create a sketch. Interesting. There we go. Okay. So now that we're here, I'm going to create another circle. Try to find the center right there and pull out from there. And it's going to be um, a 3.5. Let's try 3.5. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to finish the sketch. We're going to extrude this and this. Let's zoom out so we can see what's going on. And let's turn this. So we have this as a peg. And we have this as like the, the top part. So this is gonna be the bottom part. So we're going to give that a distance of 0.15. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a pair on this face. Okay, so we're now facing that. And we are now going to Take our circle tool. We're going to find the center of this. There it's right here. We're just going to move this over. We're going to draw a little circle here. We're not going to set a diameter to it. Um, we just are going to. Okay. So we're going to finish this and we're going to extrude this out. Let's get a better view. Okay. An inch and a half. And we are going to circular pattern this. Right, so we're going to go to create, pattern, circular pattern. And what I like to do, I want to just grab this peg that we just made. I like to grab things from the timeline. So this is the extrude that we just did. I'm going to click on it and you see that it turns blue, it's activated. So for here, it's gonna be, we wanna make sure this is features. And then at the axis, we're gonna to switch to axis and we want this side right there that lights up. I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna zoom out. I just wanted to show you, let me zoom in again. Okay, right there. And our features start to um, show up there. What we want is 10, center this a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna bump that up, eight, nine, 10, and this is set. All right, so now all we're going to do is I'm going to now activate the top level assembly. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the origin so the faces go away. And this is what we have here. So we are going to now um, put a joint on it. We're going to change the motion to Revolute. We're gonna put it back in position. And we want a center target. 
and where we want it is the interface right here, but in the center. All right. Okay. And if we were to animate that joint, it would spin. Okay, and that's what we want. Cool. So this, uh, all right. So that takes away all lateral translational movement up, down, side to side, um, and just has um, rotational motion, whereas the rigid has none of it. All degrees of freedom have been removed. So we are now going to um, go to our component. Okay, to do that, we're going to create a new component. We're going to call it joystick. And now that that's done and the component is active, I am going to leave it here and I'll see you at the next tutorial.